So back about six weeks ago, when my buddy Alfred and I were finishing up work on my hoop coop back there, we needed to use my tractor bucket. You see, I have this M-series Kubota tractor, and when I purchased the tractor, I also purchased a bucket for the tractor. I don't use the bucket super often. Actually, usually I'm using the pallet forks or my bale grabbers or the log grapple, but every so often, if I'm moving dirt or moving mulch around, and I move a lot of mulch around, or if I'm clearing snow, I had this bucket that I could strap on the front of my tractor and I would have a bucket to use on my tractor. It's actually kind of straightforward, really. Well, six weeks ago, my buddy Alfred and I needed the bucket for the tractor, and when we went looking for it, we couldn't find it anywhere. As you can see by all the construction going on behind me, we're in the process of building a new barn. That new barn is gonna be a place to house my tractor, so it's not sitting outside all the time like it is right now. But these days, I usually store all my tractor implements right around here. You can see my log grapple here. These are my bale grabbers. This is the stump removal and digging bucket. And ordinarily, I would have expected to find the bucket for my tractor somewhere around these parts. You know, it probably had been about a month since I'd last used the bucket, so I didn't exactly know where it was, but I was pretty certain we were gonna find it over here, or maybe over here where we have like the graveyard of old tractor implements that I don't really use all that much. And admittedly, I'm a very disorganized person, so the idea that I misplaced something doesn't seem too crazy. But my buddy Alfred and I, we went out and we were looking for good half hour, hour all around the farm. We were looking on the other side of the barn. We were looking all around here. Search of every gas station, residence, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house. And so our search got a lot more aggressive and we really scanned the entire farm. We checked all around the other side of the barn. We checked all down around here. We even checked over there towards the woods. And after about an hour's worth of looking, we just weren't having any luck whatsoever. And we were starting to realize that we had a mystery on our hands and also started to suspect that we might have a crime on our hands. I mean, as you can see, we're not that far from the road. An orange Kubota tractor bucket would easily stand out. So we were kind of stumped as to where the tractor bucket could be. Because after all of our diligent looking, we were pretty certain that the tractor bucket wasn't still here on the farm. And I have to admit, I was a bit pissed because tractor buckets, if you know, are not cheap. And really, when it comes down to it, a tractor bucket isn't necessarily a nice to have. If you have a tractor, if you want to use your tractor to its full extent, it really is a need to have. Good morning, my large white farm dogs. How's it going, guys? Huh? Yeah? Can we sit? Good girl. Hi, good to see you both. Yes, my little abby dabby do. I love you. Yes, you good girl. Come on, Mr. Toby Dog. I know you gotta go pee on a fence somewhere, but not yet. I mean, it's not beyond the realm of possibilities that somebody could steal it. It's just very unexpected. I mean, it's not like we live in a high crime area. And going unnoticed and stealing a tractor bucket takes some work. I mean, this tractor bucket probably weighed somewhere between 700 and 800 pounds. So it's not like a dude could just walk up, see it, pick it up, and toss it in the back of his pickup truck. Unless this person had a tractor of their own or a crew of like five or six dudes, it would be virtually impossible to steal this tractor bucket. But I guess when it comes to crime, you should never say never. Even though at this point I was saying, what the hell? Now, despite the fact that I was pretty certain that my bucket had been stolen, I never bothered filing a police report because number one, I had no clue when it was taken. I had like probably about a four or five week window between when I last saw it and when we were looking for it. I had no suspects and I couldn't even speak to how it was stolen. Good morning, Barty, 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 Barties. How's everybody doing this morning? Despite it being so frosty outside, it is nice and toasty in here. But you look like a gaggle of geese and flock of ducks and chickens that want to go outside. So we'll let you do that. Abby, good job. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but like there was like an explosion of chickens and it was more, they got spooked by Abby than Abby trying to chase them. You're doing so good with your bird training. Yes. You are. Release the Quacken! So yeah, I was just resigned to the idea that I'd lost my tractor bucket. I was not getting it back, it was gone for good, and I was gonna need to just figure out some sort of plan B. And so I started watching like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, you know, really doing my best to try to find a replacement that would be pretty comparable to what I had. But that's when my buddy Alfred, my buddy Alfred, He's a wizard with machines, 
a genius in blue jeans. Let's stop and say hello. My good buddy, Alfred, he came through for me. You see, Alfred put the word out to folks in our community who might be in the know on where you could score an old used tractor bucket, and our mutual friend, Will, got in touch with him. Alfred actually forwarded me a copy of the exchange that he had with Will. So Will said, did you say that Morgan lost his bucket? Yeah, it's not on the farm anyway. Huh, Chris Moorfield is selling one. He's getting a high volume bucket for sawdust. Is it a quick attach or some type of proprietary coupler? Pretty sure it's QA. Picks? Let me see if I can find them. And then that's where Will shared these two pictures of a tractor bucket that looked absolutely perfect. It was a Kubota orange tractor bucket. It looked to be the same length. Like it was exactly what I was looking for. Then Alfred said, that looks right. Full size tractor? Yeah, M series, I think. M series? My tractor's an M series. That means it's like the same bucket for the same exact tractor. This was like too perfect. How how much and where? $750 cash in North Danville. Danville's like the next town over from our town, so it's not far at all. And then Alfred said he would follow up with me. Now, as Alfred sent me the text messages, I immediately said, oh yes, absolutely, 100%, I will take it. And Alfred and Will had to go up to St. Johnsbury anyway that next day, and so he offered to go pick it up for me. And even though I was now having to pay 750 bucks out of pocket, I still felt like I was winning because I was at least getting the exact type of tractor bucket I'd want. Which brings us to yesterday, when Alfred showed back up at the farm to continue the project of burying the concrete piers for our barn. It's about right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little narrow, but other than that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> and that's the point when I noticed this sticker on the back of the bucket. You suppose that maybe some ne'er-do-well stone mason found this on your property? Oh! <laughs> Quite an effort for a prank! <laughs> yeah. yeah, just think I could have not put that sticker on there and made 750 bucks. <laughs> that camera up there. All right! <laughs> I got a punk! <laughs> <sighs> yes, I officially got punked hardcore by my friend. I just found his tractor bucket. He thinks he lost it. So I'm gonna see if I can't sneak it off the farm and sell it back to him tomorrow. Apparently while Alfred was here the other day doing some of his digging, he was having to pile up a bunch of stone because as you can tell by what's happening with all this digging, it's unearthing a lot of good stone. And so while he was back there, he noticed out of the corner of his eye, something orange, which given that we're pretty much covered in snow or gray, something orange will stick out at this point. Versus six weeks ago when we were looking for the tractor bucket and you have thousands upon thousands of orange leaves piling up on the ground. And well, he went over to this orange thing and lo and behold, he found my tractor bucket just over there. Yeah, don't I feel like a disorganized idiot. <laughs> it was here the whole time. I'm a big dummy and I absolutely deserve to get punked. <laughs> but if you can't laugh at yourself, who are you gonna laugh at, huh? What you got there, Pablo? Oh, I thought you had a mouse. You just have a giant clump of dirt. <laughs> By the way, in case you guys are curious, Alfred is making some really good progress here with getting the pillars in, or piers in, technically. You know, so as this timber frame barn gets built, this is what they're gonna sit on. So each of the timbers that holds up the barn is gonna sit on one of these. The crazy part is, as soon as the piers get done and put in, we're gonna actually have to add a whole bunch of fill to the ground as well, because this pier right here is exactly leveled to where it needs to be so that it levels off with the pier off in the far corner. So that means we're gonna need to fill this whole area in with dirt and sand and rock so that the surface of the building is level. Don't forget, I wanna be able to park like a truck or a tractor inside this structure. You know, the other thing you'll notice is we're encountering some large boulders and Alfred's been breaking some of them apart. You guys might've seen a recent YouTube short or TikTok that I posted on the topic, but you'll notice that some of these boulders are too big to even break up. And so for example, this one, what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna drill holes pound rebar into the holes, and then pour one of those sauna tubes filled with concrete, and then that's gonna create the pier for the building. I know it's getting a little bit late in the season to be doing earthworks in Northern Vermont, but I think we're gonna make out okay. Knock on wood, the weather seems to be cooperating. Now my buddy Alfred made a whole video about the experience of finding my bucket from his perspective. If you wanna watch it, you should check it out right here. And if you guys will excuse me, I've gotta go do the rest of my chores in shame. <laughs> 